Hello everybody and welcome back to ES Reading Comics. This week's episode 126, we've got Crossover Volume 2. As always, thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Tell your friends, your family, anyone who's interested in listening to two idiots read comics and talk about them. Uh, and you can go check us out anywhere that you get your podcasts, Instagram, uh, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. And as always, let's get into it. <laughs> Like, you look like an old grandma. FDRing it. There you go. Yeah. That, that's it. Without the wheelchair and yeah. scoliosis and polio. And no scoliosis, just polio. Oh, yeah, close call with scoliosis. Really? One, I think it was a new nurse was in school that day. And, uh, you no, know, they had brought in nurses to do scoliosis checks. I honestly don't remember ever doing a scoliosis check. Really? We had. A, I don't know if that was just a part of our like physical like pre football season thing. I may have just been a public thing. school thing. Well, we'd always do our well, no. We were like thing. in like third grade, and they would come. Oh, yeah. Now and then middle I also school, don't remember a whole lot of my preschool like we did, elementary and middle school. I want to say it was like fourth grade, and then again in like seventh grade. Like my memory of those times aren't like they would literally that like. Great. They would literally, like, check for lice and scoliosis at the same time. I remember time. the lice. Yeah. Because they would take the white Comb, paper and yeah. scrape your hair. But I don't remember the scoliosis. But, before. like, lady, apparently I was close because this, it, it was either, I was either very close or I was a very new nurse because she went, um, can you come check this one? What did she do? Give you the sign of the cross? Well, yeah, they check, make sure your spine's like, straight I guess, and your like, shoulders straight, are straight. Like, if it goes in it, it would, like. Yeah. Fuck, we're not even in the show. Well, it was the show. It's a cold open, folks. <laughs> and welcome to the best damn scoliosis podcast <laughs> on the internet. My name's Ryan Talmadge. That's Davis Crocker. This is two idiots talking middle school uh, wellness checks, I guess. Yeah. Um, and today we're talking about scoliosis. That's right, folks. Um, we're not going to talk about comics at all. Nope. Uh, just a little book called Spinal problems i don't yeah, know you didn't get there that quick, um, did you? i almost said injuries but i was like i don't think scoliosis is an injury i don't i wouldn't classify it as an injury it's no. definitely a health i almost issue. said defect but that just sounded mean that was me health um, issue is a little more pc yeah um but we are going to talk at some point today about uh crossover crossover volume, volume two. two by donnie cakes and greg shaw I'm sure there's some other people that will have to credit at some point. Yeah, there's a bunch of other people. Um, but I want to talk to you about a show that I got absolutely addicted to a couple of weeks in, weekends ago. Okay. Um, have you ever heard of a show called 60 Days In? Yes, my wife loves the show. Really? Yes. Oh, my you, God. You, the dude. two of you need to go have a conversation. Um, <clears throat> the only season that on is on Netflix, I think, is season six. Now, and is it, it not 90, 90 Days In? 60 Days In. It's the one where ordinary folks go into these high-max prison. prisons yeah. and, and yeah. try to find drugs and contraband and shit. Yeah, I thought it was more than... No, 60 Days In. I thought it was more than one season out. There it's, is more than one season. Oh, okay. There was only one season on Netflix, and it just happened to be in Alabama. What fucking prison? Etowah County in Gadsden. We got a big... We got a... It it's must a, not be a Supermax or something. And it's a max prison. In Gadsden? Bro, you want to know how bad that prison was at the beginning of the show? I can I can imagine. None of... in the cell block that they sent people in. Yeah. Of the cell block... Well, of course, they, they don't send them into the high max, like, absolute murders. This is like a mid-tier... There's murders in there. What I mean is, like, this isn't, like... It's not one person to a room. Yeah. But it's definitely... We're like mid... like It's not white-collar prison, that's for sure. No. Like, we're in the middle tier of, like, shitholes. If you're in... Shit holes. If we're talking about Orange is the New Black, you're not at the beginning prison. You're at the one after they caused the riot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, max security, that, not super max. Yeah. Um, but... But not local. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of the show, they send the men to cell block four. The locks on the door, cell doors don't don't work. 
So then, like when they like the iconic they can scene, get out literally whenever they want. Like the iconic scene and like night guys and they hit the button and all the doors slam shut. Yeah, they can slam shut, but they don't. Well, see they're not it. even like bars anymore. It's literally like it's a door. It's, it's a like, door. It is a solid with fucking a door. very big lock on it. Yeah. And you have, like, a window in the... Yeah, there's no bar. Like, it's literally a solid fucking door with a window, hard window. Yeah. And a slot to slide food and... I don't even think there's a slot. Shit. Because they have, like, a general common area, and that's where they serve the food. Yeah, man, dude. And I'm talking about, like, in that cell block they sent all the men to, none of the locks worked. So, like, in the middle of the night... A guard can come and shut the door and tell you to go in and go to sleep. Walk five feet and you can and you could just literally right push out. it back out and go yeah. murder the yeah or beat the shit out of somebody down the hall yeah um and then the one women's block they had half the doors locked Jesus um Wait, yeah and then of course all your like iconic and then you shows have like the like where like it's just like solid bars yeah. it's like those seem to be like okay those there is old. a hallway. Like, there's a big room of mm-hmm. bars, yeah. and then you leave that, and yeah. you go get in line to go to the cafeteria. Now they just you have very solid go doors. Dude, in this one, you this don't even one, have a cafeteria. You have a common... Like, you leave your room, go and down... And then you're like in a common either, area. Yeah. And then there's tables on the ground level. That's where they serve your lunch. That's lunches and yeah. shit. You never leave... Like, you're 20 a, rooms. It's a big-ass room with a bunch of cells in it, and you can be in the big-ass room, or you can be in your cell. Like, there's the 20 rooms, and, yeah. like, that's it. Yeah. And then the big con. Oh, it's way more than 20, but yeah. Right. But it's but, just, uh, like, that idea. It's, like, there's only, it's this and a common yeah. room. There's no, like, yeah. 100 rooms, and y'all all go to lunch and yeah, no. outside. And no. Um, dude, the prison system is so fucked up. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, be, it's beyond, like, not just racial discrimination or yeah. we're going after people for some fucking weed, like, mm-hmm. having five ounces of weed. Yeah. Like, the whole idea of it's prison. It's not rehabilitation like they tell you it's supposed oh, to be. Oh, fuck no, it's not rehabilitation. It's no. literally, prison has become a cash crop. Yeah. It has literally become They're how many for-profit people. for-profit prisons. How many people can we shove in these places, mm-hmm. charge the government and the state $100 per head. Oh, my stepmom. And give them $10 a day. My mom's, my worth stepmom. Worth of food and shit. Yeah. My stepmom works for a sheriff. In the state of Alabama. And that's the sheriff system, not even yeah. the state. Well, the sheriffs run the county prisons. Yeah, but that's, for not, each county. that's not what 60 Days went to. That is a state prison. Etowah County Sheriff's. Uh, it's Etowah County For the 60 prison. Day? Yeah. That was 60 a, days. That was in. a county prison they yeah. went to that's like that? Yeah. Wow. It's not county jail. It's county prison. <laughs> wow. Because um, there's a difference in, like, county jail and... Yeah. State prison. jail, like yeah. state prison, like yeah. there, there's a huge difference. Yeah, um, and, and like one of the guys even, is. one of the guys even slips up and says, "Yeah, I got caught by some feds." And the guy was like, "Uh, if you got caught on some federal charges, you, you would not, should not be here. You should not be here. You should be. I think you're he said in upstairs. A federal prison. Yeah. yeah, you'd be in, you'd be in Montgomery at the yeah. federal penitentiary. Um, but my stepmom works for one of the sheriffs, and uh. Three dollars and twenty five cents is what you get to feed a, an, a day. an individual prisoner for a day. Wow, yeah. ten dollars was rich. Yeah. Um, well, you remember the scandal? So in the state of Alabama, up until up coming up until December the thirty first of two thousand twenty two, you have to buy, you have to for the state of Alabama have to buy a pistol permit. Yeah. In the state of Alabama, mm-hmm. as of January the first twenty three. If you never leave the state of Alabama, you can open carry and conceal carry. No license now. We're given. We're not allowing permits for concealed carry anymore. Correct. You That's don't have so to go dumb. buy one now. If you leave the state, how else do you register your weapon? You when you or is that when you buy it? You, you buy it. The weapon is technically registered. Okay. And I've never actually bought when, a gun. So, but I have one. The whole concealed carry thing to start out with was to one if you're if you're a normal citizen I feel like that's how they made a lot of their money. They made a lot of money. It was yeah. it was some some counties was like was I know it was much, a, it was pretty much between ten a, to twenty dollars a year for your pistol permit up yeah. to five total years, a hundred dollars. I knew it was a thing where like my <laughs> stepmom was like, do not go buy it in Jefferson County. No. Where like, I live. She was like, come buy it where I work. At Early on, up until maybe three, four years ago, 
the there was a lot of counties that were charging like fifteen, yeah, or twelve. I think Jefferson now I is think like fifty. Now, huh? I want to say Jefferson's like I fifty. Have, isn't it? I've never heard of a county more than twenty. Oh, I know. Unless Jefferson, where my is stepmom just, works, is like twenty five. Oh well, that's more than I've ever paid. Yeah. I, I have never paid more than twenty. You also come from, from Podunk, motherfucker, and now yeah. here. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine what it is in this county. It's twenty bucks. Does this include Huntsville and Madison in no. your county? Okay. I'm in I'm in Madison County there. No, I'm in Actually I don't know what county I'm actually technically in. But either way, my county is twenty bucks. Yeah. I don't know what Huntsville and all them are. Okay. But coming next year, you don't have to buy a pistol permit. And the way oh, I understand I what pistol permits okay. were before this you didn't make a shit. You had a pistol, yeah. you put it in your car, um, it didn't matter. Uh, that pistol permits were pretty much for if you wanted to go buy a gun, mm. a pistol, at a Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah. At the time, Dick's sold pistols. Yeah. You walk in, you register, they go, do you have a pistol permit? Yeah. Yes. You give them that. They run the number real quick. They say, good, it's clean, yeah. you're clean. They give you the weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't have that, it's like you have to send off a background check. Oh, okay. But it takes like 10 minutes. Like, they literally tell you, hey, we're going to send this off, be back, just walk around the store, we'll see you in a minute. I thought it's it was not like, like other states. Others, there are many states that's like, mm. if you want to buy a pistol, there's a week waiting process. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a week, five days, two days, whatever. Like, do you really want this? I are you like buying that. this to kill somebody? Yeah. Um, but now that there's not, well, if you're going to go kill someone, you should never buy that pistol. <laughs> exactly. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it, like if you're buying this and the whole idea is like, are you buying this for an uh, immediate reaction to yeah. something? Or are you buying this because you want the weapon? Yeah. And if after five days you still want it, mm-hmm. you want it to have it. Mm-hmm. Um, but the uh, state of Alabama is never been like that it's it's literally if you have your pistol permit cool yours buy home mm. 30 minutes later yours buy go home i still need a shotgun shotguns are the best sawed off I'll tell you what sawed I, off uh, about an eight inch barrel 12 gauge well those are illegal with, so i'm not gonna admit to no 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 no, no. Uh, they legally sell shorter air barrel? quote sawed off shotgun uh-huh. that has like a like a 10 inch barrel on it okay that is Legal. Was built and made to be a okay. short barreled weapon. Okay. Not literally you just sawed off the barrel. Um the end of its groove so you mm. put a choke in it. Okay. It's got those sights, everything's legal on it. Uh maybe ten inches a little small, maybe twelve, fourteen. But yeah. it is a very short I just know I mean I've got a my turkey gun, bird gun, uh-huh. is a twenty eight inch barrel. Yeah. I mean that's some bitch like like holding it here. I, the barrel would touch you, yeah. and I would be still holding it. Mm-hmm. It's a little exaggerated, but it is fucking long yeah. to reach out there at birds and shit. Mm-hmm. It's not the best home defense gun. No. So. But I was just like, I have last year bought my own place, and for the first few months, I was literally by myself. Yeah. And I've had, like, apartments by myself, and for whatever reason, I guess my all my apartments have been small. And There's I can a literally very hear. Feeling. Yeah, I can literally hear, like everything that's going on, yeah. even though I'm in my apartment. Yeah, and and uh, the way my condo is now, the master bedroom is in the very back, correct, away from both it, doors. And I was just like, all right, I don't think my pistol's cutting it anymore. Uh, a pistol will cut it, especially the way you're Not always when set I'm, up. Two o'clock in the morning, but groggy. Two o'clock in the morning, groggy. I dude, need something I don't have to aim as much. Two o'clock in the morning. Now, I would suggest if you're getting just a home defense, you just want something to scare yeah. somebody with. You want a a pump shotgun. A pump shotgun. Yeah. So when you you Clean. don't keep one in the chamber. Yeah. I have always kept a a round in the chamber yeah. personally. It's definitely not the safe thing to do. No, that's but not. But my pistols, my rifles, my All shotguns, right. if Same I thing. am walking or you, if it is on my person, yeah. there's one in the chamber going. Yeah. There ain't no half second go. No. Home defense type stuff where mm-hmm. it's just going to sit in the corner or in a closet. Mm-hmm. Don't put one in the chamber. That yeah. way, that first reaction is that beautiful 
Yeah. And dude, a smart criminal will turn the fuck around and run. Yeah. If they don't, that's down the hallway. Yeah. Just. No. You're moving. Night, and night. you've been in my condo. Oh, yeah. You know how it's set up. Like, you you're either. You literally lean out your door. You're either either. I'm watching you either walk out the door or come down my hallway. You, you lean out the door and you shuck it. Yeah. And put one down the, in the chamber. Yeah. And if they don't move yeah. or go back out the door. Yeah. It's night, night. Yeah. Just, I mean, in that spread. Down that hallway. It's literally pump it. I mean, like, at some you point you're gonna sec- have to you come got down. Two seconds. At some point you're gonna have to come <laughs> yeah. into this line of sight, and you either be walking out that door, and if you try to come at me, something's you, going. You either going out a body bag, or you walking out. Yeah, but you got two seconds. Yeah, you know, I say all that to, or we, we went on this weird tangent <laughs> of gun violence, uh, because sixty days in is a crazy fucking show, dude. I, I heard, I've. I don't know why. I just, just can't watch get, this Alabama season. I just can't get into Dude. that kind of stuff because they I know showed, it's not like like the people that are in there, that are going in there personally. Yeah, are in there for their own fucked up reason. Dumb reasons for for their yeah. own fucked up reason. Oh, I want to feel better. I want to understand what's happening yeah. in in the prison. But at the same time, it's like I mean, the people that are in there are are in there for yeah really fucked up problems. No. Um... They had a handful of people that did that. Literally none of them lasted. So they got a guy to come in. Well, two of them lasted, but didn't. They had, they had a group that they 90% two, failed? Yeah, two of them lasted. That's new. I, I watched one with my wife where 100% passed. No. Two of them lasted, but didn't get, like, any contraband for them. And didn't, so didn't produce anything. Yeah, and so the county of, or the sheriff of Etowah County was like, dude, what are we doing? But they had so many people drop off in the first half that they brought in a guy who was a corrections officer formerly on the show. Like he was some a, other region. He was a correction officer on like season three when they were in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. And he went in there and I mean systematically became just tore everything down. Became like the block leader. Like he was like, Here's how to do it. You fucking buy as much fucking at least in this one, if you're a black guy, buy as much commissary as you can possible. Of course. Commissary is gold. And then start loaning out. And then yeah. as soon as people stop, don't pay you back, you have to show them who basically, boss. Yeah. yeah, who boss is. And then he used, once he established that, he's like, everybody's borrowing stuff from him. And he's like, hey, you know what? Um, I need a shank. So instead of, you know, paying me back, Build just me a get, weapon. get me a shank. However, like you... Wherever in here you get a shank, get me a couple, and you can have these whatever soups and shit. Fuck. And then he was getting drugs. He was getting all types of shit, shanks. And, I mean, this motherfucker. Then just turning everything yeah. over. Then he was only in there for like two weeks. Because and he did all that in two weeks? Yeah. And so the sheriff was like, everybody quit or got found out and uh, didn't make it. And I think the producer's like, yeah, we don't have enough for a full season. So they went and got, literally, they brought that guy back, and then four more, and they were all corrections officers. And then they did another 30 days in. 30, Jesus yeah. Christ. And it's all in Etowah, and some of them found out that there were police in there. <laughs> and Whoa. one of the COs snitched on one of the guys. Swear to God. The CO snitched on an actual corrections officer yeah, that was in there. in prison. Said that's a police officer. They're 60 days in. What the fuck? Yeah. And they, didn't get him out. They, they were telling yeah, no. other prisoners. The show had to pull him out, yeah. They were telling other prisoners. It was the guy that did all the stuff in the halfway through or whatever, the guy yeah, who yeah. actually found all the contraband. Yeah, yeah. When they went in for the second time, he's like, if you thought I was crazy the first time, just wait, because I'm going to test everything and everyone. And he was being a straight up dick to that CEO that CEO, CEO. and yeah. that CEO finally just had enough and said hey that guy did the CEO know CEO knew he knew that he, he was knew he fake, was like fake. hey that Tony guy over there he's 60 days in he's actually a police officer so he signed his death warrant basically he signed he signed his but his at the death time certificate. but because of the mix up the, between him and the CEO the, the, the crew guy got knew. sent to solitary and then as he got sent to solitary, he was like, 
Yeah, that guy sixty days in, and, and told the, the rest crew, of the prisoners. And then, the crew knew and then as soon out. as he came back, because Tony didn't know, and I guess the production people didn't notice it. They weren't fast watching enough. it as quick. Yeah, yeah. and uh, when all of a sudden he was only in, he was only in solitary for one day and uh, not a full well, month. Just they were like, the... "That's weird. That shouldn't have happened." And then that's when like. All of a sudden, the camera crew went in there, and people were putting their shirts up in front of the glass, and they were like, no, nah, they told us what you are. And then they were like, oh, we got to get everyone get the, the fuck, fuck out. out. Get the yeah. fuck out. I mean, they straight up, in the first half, just straight up showed a dude getting shanked. I'm telling you, it's the crazy dude, fucking show. Dude, I don't remember it being that they had a, wild. They said, because this is like season seven, and yeah, one of the yeah, guys at the very beginning was like, I'm a super fan, I'm an ex-Marine. He made it three days. <laughs> and then... <laughs> The guy, or, like, every person on that show who had watched the show before were like, this prison is way worse than anything y'all have ever shown before. Welcome to Etowah, fucked up backwoods Alabama. Etowah County, Alabama. God damn. And then my niece, I watched, I think there was, like, 16 episodes. I watched it in two days. That makes sense. And uh, my nieces and nephews came over that night, because I was at my dad's house watching this. Jeez. And, uh... <laughs> Every time they pissed me off, I was like, I'm going to take y'all to Etowah County. Yeah. So it was I a know, lot of fun. I know I saw a clip. It was mm-hmm. like uh, one of the prisoners was in there. I don't know what it was from. I, I, I yeah. would imagine 60 days. Maybe an old season. But one of the prisoners in there and like the dude walked by him and he like checked up for a second mm-hmm. and walked on past. And there was like the next like next clip. It was like him. He The prisoner walked up to the. 60 day in her yeah. and it's like hey are you so and so and said his like real name his government <laughs> to him yeah. and he's just like I don't know who the fuck you're talking the 60 day mm-hmm. like, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about and he looked he leaned over and went I know who you are if you don't say who you are yeah. I'll tell everybody yeah. and it's just like cause he went in there with a fake name yeah and he's yeah. just like um man I don't I don't know what I don't know what you want from me yeah and a dude just walked, the prisoner walked off, mm-hmm. and you see the 60 day or look up at the camera. I guess he knew where Gave it was supposed the signal to be. Or whatever. He's just like, give me, the, give me the fuck out. They give him a hand signal. Yeah, he's just he's like, just give like, me the yeah. fuck out. And like five minutes later, the COs, like like five yeah. COs walk in yeah. and like holler and like cuss out the, the 60 day in or making it look like it's a yeah. real. And dude, they get his ass out. Mm-hmm. And it's just like. Oh, no. Like, surprising, what the fuck? A, like, how, a surprising like, the, amount of people f- were like, Hey, that's weird. Are you yeah. on 60 Days In? Yeah. And then, yeah. The first girl, they f- pretty much accused her, like, from, like, week two on. And the last straw was there was kind of, like, a mentally unstable person that they were trying to help out the entire time in the women's block. Yeah. And the 60 she went, Mayor was trying to help out. Yeah. And then she went to, like, go dive off, like, the second floor or whatever. And she, like, as she tripped her. She did this maneuver that they teach police officers and corrections officer, and to stop a suicide. Yeah, and person. as she was like laying face down a thing, and even as soon as I saw it, I was like, only a police officer would do that. that it's too. She lifted up her legs and crossed it, like crossed their legs and then as pushed it down. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, only police officers know to cross people's legs when they're yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Jeez. And the lady was called out and was like, "We were already suspected you, that, but that move right there." And much. then she was like, okay, yeah, I have to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was fucking crazy. Dude, that, like. If you're going to watch it, go watch the one season on Netflix, especially if you live in Alabama. Yeah. And it's just fucking wild. But I the mean, idea, it, it's they just, asked her, like, how are people getting all this shit in there? And I'm talking about the pat downs were like. Yeah. It, it, go ahead. <laughs> I've, I've heard people was like. Well, there's no way to get drugs in prison. How do drugs have prison? I'm like, ninety percent of it was their shitty pat downs. I've been, I've been to yeah. a prison. I, I mean, it was a white collar prison, but yeah. I've been, and it was literally, please put your phone and wallet in, in drawer. Yeah. No belts. Yeah. Like we couldn't wear belts. In. They more it was like no belts. Thing. You can't have uh, cleavage showing. Yeah. Your pants must be below your knees. Yeah. And they literally just look at you up and down. And go, cool. Yeah. And you just walk in. I mean. And that was at a white collar. I mean, yeah. it's very l- l- much lower security, but mm-hmm. it was just like, I could have. Yeah. I, I could yeah. Ha- I could literally just have like yeah, 18 ounces of cocaine in my pocket. Yeah. 
No. And just hand it to. They literally told him to change hand it clothes. To the yeah. Didn't make him do the bending cough or anything. And to then got, the prisoners. They, yeah. To the people in on, like, intake. Just like, hey, go change clothes in that room over there. Didn't watch them change clothes. And then didn't make them do the bend and cough. Didn't even bend and cough. Yeah. So it's definitely not like Orange is New Black where they did yeah, the full no. cavity go. No. Um, but it's crazy. Uh, I mean, this shit was wild. I mean, I'm talking about I was hooked. Dude, I was up till system. 2 o'clock in the morning watching. The prison systems shit. are so fucking fucked And up, one of the guys on that season played quarterback at UConn. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah. I well, say mighty, but. I mean. It's UConn's UConn. not very good. It's UConn. I was like, you know how bad of a team you have to be f- to play on a college, a D1 college football program and no one in the state of Alabama will recognize you? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. So even in UConn, like, yeah. like, we at least understand who Notre Dame, Clemson, yeah. fuck NC State, Syracuse. Yeah. We even at least understand who those quarterbacks mm-hmm. are. Yeah. There was a white kid that got uh, – just graduated college and decided he wanted to go on the show. I don't. I don't understand what the mentality. I, in there. I don't understand what the mentality is that you want to willingly put yourself in that situation. I don't know. If you're a corrections officer wanting to try to yeah help corruption, I understand that. Yeah. But just Joe Blow like that, like yeah. what you're saying, this kid. I don't. <laughs> how much were they fucking paying him to? He only made it two weeks in. the The first batch they had a corrections officer and a former marine. Corrections officer didn't make it out of intake. Marine made it three days. Didn't make it out of Tiny intake. white. Intake yeah. is literally just. Sitting in. Just. Yeah. Don't do this. Don't do that. You'll get it's killed It's almost like a drunk this. take yeah. while they do your paperwork. Yeah. It's literally just wait for your paperwork to yeah. fill out. And then you go to gym pop. Yeah. and uh, You're not even with people. Yeah. No. And then the white kid just he out of college. What, like he would understand what there was. Yeah. And he didn't make it through. No. And the white kid out of college made it. Two weeks, and uh, did impressive. not did not fit in at all. Of course, he has no idea how to. I mean, he legit like went in order. His commissary money came in. He went and placed an eighty dollar commissary yeah, uh, you can't order, do that. and they were like, "You can't go and place big orders, dude. Especially your size." And to be now, honest, now it, you have eighty dollars worth of commissary in your room. Yeah, people will come take it. Yeah, and it's like. Not to be racist, this is what they said on the show and said, block four, the black people run shit in here. There's not, there's just, they outnumber the white people and you're tiny and you don't really hang out with most of the white guys, so. You're fucked. Yeah. Like. And you just spent $80 commissary to yeah. have your own food. Mm. They will literally just come walk, yeah. they'll walk in and take it from you. Yeah. And they like, he got his order and like ran straight to his room. <laughs> I was like, that's not suspicious at all. Yeah, dude. that's not, that. it just made it worse, buddy. No, no. But yeah, it's God. if you're gonna watch a season, I'm telling you, if you want to kill sixteen hours, sixteen hours, that shit will you'll be hooked. Jeez, man. Um, but we're here to talk about crossover. <laughs> volume There's two. There's a prison involved in that. There is. That was volume one, though. There's a prison. Uh, in this yeah, one. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our main characters get arrested in this one. Yeah. Uh, before we get into it, of course, we'll credit some people. Donny Cates. Our great story is created by Donny Cates. And Jeff Shaw. Our great story is created by Donny Cates. Our art is by Jeff Shaw. Our colors are D. Kunifi. We'll go with that. C-U-N-N-I-F-F-E. Letters and designs, John J. Hill. Stories and edits by Mark Wade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we've got a bunch of other crazy shit. I'll, say, I'll give you this. Uh, interlude, uh, Chip Zardaski. Chip Zardaski, yeah. Yeah, I wondered why they kept... He was a... One. Yeah, he was a big character. I thought in this. Brian Michael Bendis and What's-His-Face when I might have done their little section. Yeah, but they, they weren't... They're not being credited on okay. this. Okay. No. Nope. Yeah, they are. Bendis and... All right, um, so I'm, I'm going to go through the rest of this then. Yeah. then. Uh, interlude, uh, story is Chip Zardaski. Pencils by Phil Hester. Inks by Ande Parks. Uh, chapter 3, pages 12 through 17, is Brian Michael Bendez for the story. Art is Michael Ovon, Ovon Oming. Yeah. A- O-E-M-I-N-G. Colors, mm. Nick Filardi. Chapter 5, pages 1 through 10, Robert Kirkman yeah. is the story. Pencils, Phil Hester, and Inks, Klaus Johnson. So that 
that makes more sense why they threw them yeah. in there. I thought they just threw them in there just to, just for names. Well, I mean, I imagine all these guys know each other and kind of friends. Oh, oh, definitely. And I hope Scott I mean, Snyder is, is one of their friends after reading this. This is Image Comics. I mean, yeah. it's, it just seems like these guys kind of all have, yeah. like, they all got shafted by Marvel and or DC, and it's just like... I, Donnie's still employed. A lot of them Donnie are still is employed. actually still employed. He did Snyder. I mean, not Snyder. He did. He did Venom. He's currently doing Thor the Thor. and Hulk. And Hulk. And he did Thor that. And Hulk he did this, that. Doctor had this major fucking crossover. I've so far out of the loop, dude. I've um, got, I am so far behind on my my personal yeah reads. Well, we talked about it two episodes ago. Now our comic book stores are kind of slipping. Oh no! Even my even my um oh yeah my Kindle read my my online reads yeah. that are beyond what I would have set up. Mm-hmm. Like even them now have gotten. Like, I enjoy what we read for this, Mm -hmm. and then outside of that, it's just kind of, eh, okay. Like, they don't seem like they flow right. Like, it's just like... I mean, it's hard to go from, like, paper trades to floppy. Single issue, yeah. It takes less than than five minutes to read, and you get, like, a tiny chunk of the story. Yeah. So, I've got, like, this laundry list, like, Mm -hmm. eight plus issues. And, like, I don't... Back when I switched to floppies, I was like, I want to be up to date because everything's getting spoiled. I don't check on most of those YouTube channels anymore. Yeah. And I don't really care about staying 100% up to date anymore. Yeah. So. And again, I mean, shit, it's going to change in the next six months. Yeah, that's also. Like they're going to have, I mean, the way Marvel's been running, every year there's this big summer blockbuster yeah. that changes everything. New number sets one. Sets everything back to zero. Yeah. So. What's the point anymore? Right. Yeah. Like, why keep up with everything if everything's going to be set back to one again? Mm-hmm. But, uh, but no, uh, yeah. I forgot where we're going. Some of these guys still do work for Marvel and DC. But yeah, Donnie, I mean, yeah, Image, Donnie, Donnie they literally can all has, do like, their own stuff on Image. Too. Donnie at one time literally had three Marvel runs happening at the same time. And this. And this. And maybe a couple other things. And what? Maybe a couple other things. Yeah. But literally had three Marvels running at the exact same time. Yeah. But what were your thoughts? I just um, I I don't know how to react about it. I liked this story. it a lot. There were at certain points it got a little meta. All right, and it what got do a little you mean? Confusing. What do you mean by meta? I don't like we thought Donny Cates is obviously in there and they think he's the one writing the story and yeah, directing where everything goes. It took me way too goes. long to realize that that was the crazy man in the cage. Yeah. Um, and then, but then you find out, oh, he's writing the story, not just for the comic book characters. He's also he's, controlling the people that you are calling normal yeah. because, Which was because cool. also this entire world is also a comic book. So it's like, we're, we're in this weird, like fourth wall breaking. I mean, it's not fourth wall, but it's more. I know of it's like, not fourth wall, but it's like fourth wall. It's more like within the comic. It's more like playing forty chess. Yeah. Where it's like yeah. you have the comic book characters are for comic books yep. in that world. Then we have the writers that, of those. Then comics. that world is also a comic book in our world. So it's like playing three D chess. Yeah, and then that comic is in our those that those comic characters are in our world. They're in the current comics world that's also being created by another entity that we're also reading. I think you added an extra layer, but yeah. It is the extra layer. That, yeah. That's the extra layer, though. Well, no, it's like... You have the comic book characters. You have the polka dot people that are in there. Correct. The ink that's dot one. people yes. that are from comic books. Correct. Then you have the normal people who view them as comic book characters. Two. But what you come to find out in this volume is that they're... <laughs> The, the narrator, which is Donny Cates, is also controlling this story that we're reading. Three. Which is the third layer. Us is four. No, we are three. We are four. We are three. Donny is like two and a half. Donny and Greg Shaw are two and a half. No, because okay. he's All also... Right, that's fine. Yeah, that, we're, yeah. Very, we're getting very... Yeah. Way too deep into it, but yeah, yes, exactly. I, fine. Yeah. But yeah, that's what... There, there is layers with layers. In, it's almost like we're 
an inception where you go into a dream there within you a dream go. within a dream. There you go. We, we, we are have, in we have kind we of, are in someone's telling a story inception. Yeah. Yeah. And, and at points Donnie's talking feel... to Donnie's talking to us in the third layer yes. while being also present in the second layer. Correct. Which is controlling everything. Correct. Yeah. And I definitely feel like But I feel like you there's did a... not get this in episode in, in the volume one. No. And even Donnie, when he like realizes like like he's telling you like yeah this was yeah, him I wrote realizing myself, like I wrote myself into this fucking comic how yeah. fucking stupid can a creator be this was him to real... write himself into a comic like, yeah. he even agrees with that this is him realizing and it works within the story because at the end it's like he even says writers only write the words correct artists bring Create. the comics to life so yeah. I have some power here. But I don't but have the, the artist, final say, right? And, uh, and 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 when Negan and that's why his whole thing was like at the very beginning, he's like, I wanted to write a love story, right? But this With is the not the story and that Ryan, yeah. yeah. And he's like, but I'm not getting to do that, yeah. And that's not where this story is going. Yep. And you find out it's because oh, he doesn't actually have final say. So when when Volume One feels like it's leading to a love or promises that it's there, leading to a, a love there's story, there's a love story and a. It's like, the very. It's like Act One of a love story. We fight. We have fought the villain. We've yeah. conquered the villain. Yeah. Now we get to have peace. Yeah. It's like oh, I no, imagine they will eventually peace. circle back to of course, a of course. love story. But the whole thing was they used that thing of Donnie saying, "I wanted to write a love story, but for some reason I can't." Right. As a thing of saying, "Oh, he's not actually the one in final control." Yeah. And while he can pull some tricks, it's not him getting controlling all this. Yeah. I did enjoy the whole, like, again, Volume 1, you had none of this. Mm -hmm. This Volume 1 to Volume 2 is a very... It's not as inceptuous. You almost have, like... Incept, not incest. Yeah. Inceptuous, as in Inception. You definitely, from Volume 1 to Volume 2, you have this weird, almost, transition that goes from... (sighs) Volume 1 was... Here's the story. There's these crazy worlds. Mm. Everything has now collided. It's almost just very set up. Huh? It's just almost just a ton of set up. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was all set up. Yeah. These crazy worlds you finally have in the final issue, this mm-hmm. weird battle. Mm-hmm. Um, this kid that we thought was going to be... Yeah, they have been... In... Now, did the, she get shot? The entire volume one story arc yeah. is gone. That's yeah. what I'm going at. Like, Like... And that's like where that's where entire... I think they're using that as, or Donny Cates is using that as like, I this is not. I've lost control. Yeah, yeah. Like like I've but lost like, did the child the get shot? I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't remember. What yeah. was kind of funny yeah. was maybe fifteen pages in. Yeah, you get, and the story so far. Yeah, literally every page. Yeah, page. And it's like ah, I'm not. Dude, can you imagine buying the hardcover, like the, yeah. the the paper copy, and then having to go, and that being on every you get a magnifying glass or something, being on every page? It's yeah. funny. I kind of actually like it yeah. because it is just so, just... especially with as much anime as I've been watching lately. Oh, yeah. And they go previously on, yeah. yeah. Um. So currently, we are October sixteenth, fifteenth, whatever the day is. Yeah. Middle of October. Crossover has not had an issue come out since May. Yeah. The way this was read, uh-huh. knowing, because I told you there hadn't been an issue what coming out issue coming in May. What issue is, because they do the chapter thing, which is confusing, but technically what issue was the last one in this? In this? Yeah. So I want to say volume one went to five or six. This definitely went like six or seven. So there's the sword, Bob Wire. Again, it's going to say chapters, so Which, I don't know. Now, again, the whole idea is, is like what I'm going at is uh, six. Six? So that's 12. Six. Yeah. Again, they was, did the chapters. Well, well, this was called the Tencent Plague. Yeah. So there were six chapters, chapters of the Tencent Plague. Yeah. Um, but we, we, again, it's just like, what I don't understand was how different 
volume one, issues one to uh-huh. six, say issues one to six, and now technically issues seven to twelve yeah. had nothing to do with each other. They it, just re- like the, they just reference some stuff. Yeah, yeah. The whole idea of the old man being dead. Yeah. Played like well, a, I remember that a five second deal in this. Yeah. The little kid played no, yeah, no, nothing in this. Uh-uh. Um, and, and even Donnie in this was like, oh, yeah, I just wrote myself into this. Yeah, I'm a pathetic writer for doing this. Well, yeah, every, and then like the whole story, like the second he realizes that, mm-hmm. the whole story just turns, and yeah. it's like. Oh, now it's a creator realizing that he's a shit yeah. and trying to fix his problems. Yeah, they did that touching moment where he's like, why do you do this stuff to us or whatever? And he's like, I don't know. Some was point that when goes, um, Negan was fighting with uh, his creator? Robert Kirkman. Kirkman. Well, I'm talking about like he's sitting there dying and Ryan's hurt. Also, yeah, and he has to show Ryan his life. And he's like, "Oh, yeah." He grabs the he talks necro, about the yeah. sword, and he's like, "Oh, the tell these stories to find a reason to live or something like that." Yeah, I forgot, but I remember Donnie had gone to rehab or something. Yeah, and I didn't realize they, it was all hit, this bad. I mean, they they he touches on that a few times. I, mean, I remember f- in Volume One there was a weird. Yeah, I remember there was an odd f- mention of a. Uh, maybe in that like preempt. You remember uh-huh. he had those like like really long, yeah. Uh, our world, mm-hmm. um, context of the story, yeah. Uh, where he was like, "Yes, I've had a hard life. I've yeah. been to prison. I've been to rehab. Yeah. I've been in severe issues." Mm-hmm. And then he just put it into the story. Yeah. But so in this, we get Ellie makes the comment to the. Comic detectives yeah. that her theory, From powers. the powers, yeah. her theory is, is that this killer mm-hmm. is going after the writers, because, which would then erase yeah. the stories that the mm-hmm. writer created or something like that. And then, um, we get the big, the big reveal that that's Negan, really the artist. Oh yeah. Well, well, we get the first big reveal that Neil, Negan, Negan is, that's weird because Ryan has to go talk to his dad and he said, yeah, I found Saga under your bed. Yeah. And made it sound like it was the villain from that. And I was like, well. Which one are we going to go with here? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's really not one singular villain that stands out from Saga. Right. I guess you could go the will technically, but mm. there's that point you cheer, you root for him. You root for the will. So, and then I, they just completely like, and I guess you could say it's a guy who's not familiar with the comics and just said the wrong one, not knowing. But then when it was Negan, I was like, "That's completely different." <laughs> yeah, that that Negan definitely felt like a very. I mean, it's definitely the right guy to of, choose. Oh, it is. Yeah, but it also felt like a very out of left field character. Yeah. To actually give a full name to. Yeah. Like, because every time you you see all the characters, they're well, one I mean, he's only image comics. He's only allowed to pull from the image comics. Well, yeah. correct, and but you always, although Negan, they had that thing with Scott Snyder where they said the murder weapon. And they got as close to a battery ring as they could have the legally. The only difference is like the very the center, it had two, like really the ear yeah. looked like a bat. Yeah. It was like, it was like damn, y'all got. They got as legally, y'all got as close, close as they legally could to a battery yeah. ring. But as, as far as that, they only have been showing image characters. Now, if you've noticed in the prison scenes, whenever the head, I guess the CIA agent, yeah. is walking around with Ryan. Yeah, they all do. All the outlines. characters yeah. are very, like, there's a Hulk. Yeah, I saw the Hulk He's, one. like, gray. Mm-hmm. There's Wolverine. Yeah. He, he's got the iconic uh, old yeah. 90s But they, can head, ne- they never give enough but he's detail. he's pink. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange is yeah. in there. She-Hulk's in there. Mm-hmm. Like, you look and go, oh, that's so-and-so. And so. There's Robin. And outfits, there's yeah. so-and-so. Like, like you there's one put, that looked pretty much like Nightwing. From yeah, the back. you yeah. put everything as two and two together, but the colors are wrong. Yeah, uh, uh, an emblem is wrong. Yeah. Something is wrong, so they can get away without the copyright mm-hmm. issues. And which is kind of brings us back, like the whole volume one was like, oh, there's gonna be Superman. Yeah, and then there's there could be the Green Lantern, yeah. like all this shit, and then none of that. No. Um, and I remember when we first read this outside of the 
of well, our we podcast. Also didn't know like who when we that, like when we originally yeah. read this, and even the uh, the thing they drew when we in read issue Black, one was super or was Superman. That was Superman. Yeah, and then we didn't know who the other guy who eventually it turned out being was. Yeah. So. and and we were also simultaneously reading Venom that had this the crazy Thor. Thor that had this the crazy issue one of Donny Cates Thor run. Talks about literally talks about Superman, Batman, Flash, and yeah, because it's like the whole thing was the thing that Galactus was running from, yeah, was this eater of universes, correct? And they basically made it sound they described the Justice League, there was going to be a Marvel DC crossover. Well, no, because remember the times that's when AT&T bought Warner Brothers, and the rumor, the rumor on the street was. That A and T and T didn't want to deal with comics, and they yep. might license it out to yep. Marvel. And so you're like, "Holy shit!" Are they calling their shot? Or yeah, whatever. Grin, it never happened. We're, we're three years later, and nothing's happened. It, grin, it never happened. So it just he got as legally close as he could then to be like, "Oh, my guy, who yeah. Thor's about to be ate the DC universe." And then we jumped to his image c- crossover. Marvel comic. seems to do that a lot more than DC does because I remember reading a Spider Man comic one time. Um, when Rebirth happened, and somewhere just a background character that was getting arrested had absolutely nothing to do with the story. And they gave him a word bubble and it said, "What the hell's a Rebirth?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, I think I actually remember reading. I that. think it's in Spider Verse. It yes, it I is. Think it, it is. is. It's in Spider yeah. Verse. Yes, because it's. I don't know exactly, but yes, that's yeah. in Spider Verse. But it's just. And then I remember when we read Venom, mm-hmm. we were reading Thor, yeah. and then this crossover all came out very close together. Yeah. Not Venom, but uh, no Venom, the Dark um, King, uh, King of Black, King, of King Black. of Black. Everything came out so close together that we were reading it, and it's like, all right, here it is. Crossover is going to do it. Yeah, they will. Oh, do they're going to do it in image. Yeah, they're going to do it in image because they can get away with. Yeah. Everybody being mm-hmm. fine with Marvel won't be pissed off that DC is yeah. Marvel, Marvel, DC, vice versa. Yeah. They can give it to Image. Yeah. We are three years later. Yeah, no. And it's all just, just like, characters. Oh, no. You've seen Spawn like five times. Yeah. Like, no, we're Savage different. Dragon. We're different yeah. here. This is actually so and so. Yeah. It's just like, why? Like, to sell comics. I know why. It's just like, damn. Yeah. And now we get this volume I've two. It. Oh, I'm still enjoying it. It's fun. But now we get this volume two that has nothing to do with volume one. No. Nah. But they at least they address it. Kind of. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. He's like, yeah, the story got away from me. It definitely got away from me. But when Ellie's whole idea of like, are you kill the writer, you kill the story, like you yeah. kill the characters. Second, Negan killed Kirkman. Yeah. And Negan was still alive. It's like, all right, well, there went that theory. Yeah. He beat the he beat the shit out of him, mm-hmm. and he even even Negan's like, huh? That's for making me kill um, the Asian. Oh, dude. that was my that was that's the line. It, he's yeah. like, that's for making me. Uh, that, that was the line I told you about when I forgot. Yeah. I was like, that's what you, for what you made me do to Glenn. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh, oh man, that shit was funny. And then I think there was a ton of inside jokes between the writers and the story. Oh, definitely, that we yeah. just don't know about. The best one is where. The creator of powers. Yeah. Like the detectives They're listing there, off everybody that and died. And it's like Scott Snyder, and then dead just, man. Yeah. He's just like, I don't care. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> there was a lot of shots at Scott Snyder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For some fucking reason, there know. were shots at Scott Snyder. It's funny. But. Uh, but no. Now they have to find Greg Shaw. The artists. If they want to end it all, they have to find Greg yeah. Shaw. Yeah. And again, like the way we imagined it from like in the real world where we are currently the last crossover didn't come out since hasn't come out since may yeah so i don't know and the way like knowing that and we're reading the comic it's like oh oh is it is this it like was no what, they, was that it they do make it seem like this is going to be the end yeah uh halfway through reading this and then it's like oh and then no, the end, it's like you need to go find shaw yeah and it's like oh well all right that does mean we're going back into the dome though because remember he was in Denver. Yeah, and the they dome, went to go visit the dome him. Is now expanding. Yeah, which is creating Thinning voids. It out. Yeah. Uh, how about the fact that that creature, the 
thing that was killed it was a, a lot uh, like the X Men thing. Yeah, Sentinel it was or like whatever. The Sentinel. Yeah, with a couple variations. Very close. <laughs> there was an Ultron on a cart. Yeah. Uh, but like its face wasn't quite like mm-hmm. like I love how so close. That's what I've enjoyed with this is like how close to the line yeah. Shaw will get. Like or the the character the artists will get the creators yeah. that it's not copyright infringement mm-hmm. which is kind of fun it like I, I i've kind of enjoyed like that idea mm-hmm. but i mean where did you go all right so ellie and ryan are going into the dome yeah I and imagine, the cia agent? i imagine everyone's gonna fall on there <laughs> all right so we got so we're currently down to ellie ryan CIA agent. I just call yeah. him that because I don't know this actual uh, organization. It's something with a P- PIN or yeah. something. And the two powers. Yeah. Detectives. Which means we're going to have to have another big bad. Yeah. Now, I'm not familiar with Greg Shaw's work unless it's... Right. I mean, so there and, might and, be something... And so the idea is is that we're about to get something that Shaw has been a part of. I would imagine. Yeah. We're going to get one of his creations... Mm-hmm. Some big bad, of course, that's going to be protecting him when they actually show up mm. in the dome in Denver. Mm-hmm. Are you as invested in this as we were when we first started? No, I mean we legit thought it was going to be Marvel and DC editors. Am I still I having definitely. fun with it? Extremely. Oh, oh, I agree with that. Um, but knowing that a issue hasn't come out since July, May, May or whatever, that's I mean. It's gonna That's suck. A big if, red flag. It's gonna be yeah. It's a big red flag. It's gonna suck if it doesn't come out. Yeah. But I'm also not getting my hopes up yeah. anytime soon. So. Because like we said, Donnie Cates is still doing Thor yeah. and Hulk. I mean, writers can do a lot as much as hard as doing Thor, Hulk, <coughs> and then probably a couple of your own uh, image titles at the same time. I imagine can be hard, but. Artists literally, I would say one, maybe two. If you can do two titles at once as an artist, that is insane. Yeah. Just because, I mean, the thing, the standard is usually like a page, page and a half, maybe two a day. A day. For, uh, so one issue. Pencils. So one issue literally takes a you month. A month. Yeah. So every month, if you're, you're not working weekends, yeah, yeah. So every month you're creating, yeah, the next issue, mm-hmm. and hopefully and they you're said at usually, least an issue ahead, yeah. So that if something happens, you mm-hmm. have you got a little leeway, yeah. Which just puts the insane work rate that manga people. Granted, they don't do colors and all that, and it's usually the same artist and author at the same right. time. But just the insane, the insane work the ethic that they do, week, they put week. out 20 pages a week. I could imagine. Yeah. That. That's why they don't do a whole ton of background, but yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'll, when they get to volume three, I'll pick it up. I, I, again, yes, I we'll do it. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere any time fast. Well, they may have addressed it online, and we just haven't Googled well, it yet. Well, of course. So. I mean, we're t- we're two idiots. We don't fucking yeah, jump yeah. in shit that quick. Nah. We literally don't talk about what we're reading until the week before like, we're going to record. Maybe 10 days before we record. Yeah. At most. Yeah. So if we miss something lining up with the TV show, that's usually why. Yeah. Like how we completely whiffed on... Gotham Knights video game coming out soon. Yeah. For us soon, for listeners Y'all, now, I've already probably a month been plus. out. Yeah. yeah. So. But. but. Yeah. No. Um, We're on episode five, and it's already late, and I'm pretty sure Davis is drunk because he's peeing every 30 seconds. And, uh. Not as bad as I was last night. Well, I know it's sad drinking right now, which makes me happy, honestly. You but, can uh, just go suck a nut. Next week, we well, don't know yet. We'll you... figure that shit out later. Um, right. It is December, though. Um, we're heading to the holidays. I guess we should have Woo-hoo. said Happy Thanksgiving at some point this uh, month. This episode will come out 
It's either after or before. This episode will come out. Oh, it's got to be after before Thanksgiving. It's gonna probably gonna be one of the last two days. No, it's gonna be after, for sure. Yes, yes. If it's this the will, fifth this Tuesday, twenty ninth. Yeah. So. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. We should have said it last week. Yeah. yeah. Um. Hope you didn't murdered on. Hope you didn't get murdered on Black Friday. Jesus. Um, Stay away from those fucking crowds. There's a bunch of holidays coming out soon. It's Christmas time, baby. And Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and the literally 40 other holidays. Yeah, literally. Religious holidays. We won't always say them all, but, you know, happy celebrating, I guess. Celebrate what you care for. Well, I don't care about any holidays except Thanksgiving, so. What I said, hot, celebrate what you care for. Okay, well, I think we talked about it last month. You could literally walk into my place. There are no indicators of to what time of year it is, other than what sport is currently on TV. The only time you could find out what time it is in my house is when it's Christmas. Yeah. I know, and I get roped into taking down Christmas stuff every year here. You show up at the right times. No, y'all wait for me to show we, up. We do show up. We do That's wait. why I'm, since we're bulk recording for the holidays, I'm like, well, why don't we just go ahead and do it next week or the week after? Because she won't pull down Christmas stuff she until November. She won't pull down that early. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. But either but way. Yeah. Um, we'll see y'all next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.